Hi, my name is Jason Bradley. I'm with the Bradley Insurance Group. I'm uh, agency vice president here. Um, have been around here for uh, over 20 years. With some carriers right now, there is a big push for home inspections, which a lot of carriers are inspecting about 80% of their book of business. Most carriers say 50%, but it's more along the lines of 80% that they are uh, inspecting their houses. Um, they are, the companies are having inspectors go out and they are doing exterior uh, reviews or inspections of these houses. Now, there's a lot of issues going around with uh, being notified as the customer if you're notified by the carrier of somebody coming out to your house, um, which all carriers say that they are notifying. But what we found is that some people, they're either not receiving the information uh, in mail or they're not receiving the information uh, via phone call either as well. So we just wanted to give you a heads up about this. Uh, this is happening. Um, it is something that is probably necessary, um, especially for policies that have been on the um, been insured here for a while or with whatever carrier it is, uh, just to make sure that the condition of the house um, in the property that's being insured is still meet the quality and guidelines of the insurance company. Now, the way that they're going about it, we don't totally agree with, um, with not being able to get a hold of somebody uh, saying that there's a phone call when there maybe not has been a phone call or even letters going out in the mail. Um, we would encourage you to open up your mail. We know it can be annoying. There's probably a lot of junk mail still, but at the same time, uh, if you could open your mail just to make sure um, that if you're being notified, and even if it's insurance company or not, um, make sure of some of these notifications that are going out. Um, and also with these notifications that are going out, they don't even have to have a contact or reply back from you. They still will come out to the house as well. So we have had a bunch of phone calls on this over the last couple of weeks or so and figured it was time to address address the issue that's going on. As, as we can completely understand, it is uncomfortable. Uh, we don't like people out at our house that we don't know who they are um, or what they're out there for, especially in today's age. But I think that's always been something like we don't want people on our property that we don't know who they are. Um, these companies that are doing the inspections are third party companies typically, and they are hired by the main insurance company, whether it's uh, Nationwide Insurance, uh, Progressive Ohio Mutual, um, Safeco, just to name a few um, carriers, but they are third parties and not the actual company. Um, sometimes the notification process is different per carrier. And then based on the inspection company that's coming out to the house, notification has been, uh, is different for each company as well. We've tried to voice our concern in our opinion on this matter. Um, sometimes it goes over, sometimes it does not. But we, we are um, completely understanding of um, being upset with some of this that's happening. So, but just to let you know that they are supposed to, um, on the inspections, it's supposed to be 30 days um, on the inspections if they do find something wrong with the property. Uh, some of the things that are happening are uh, 30 days of cancellation if the, the damage um, is bad enough. Um, Non-renewal is if the issues aren't terrible, but they aren't resolved by the renewal date. Um, to get remedies or resolutions to these uh, concerning inspections or properties that are saying that they need repairs or upgrades or updates done to them. But some of the, some of the ways that we can rem remedy the, the situation is by pictures of the completed work, um, a receipt from the contractor that actually did the work showing what was actually done to the property and what dates it was done on the property. Um, also, a letter from that contractor would work if, based on an explanation of what work was done, uh, how much it did cost, and then um, when the work was completed. Um, there has also been like invoices with specific details on them, just like I've talked about from uh, the receipts or even from the letters. But the more specific information we have on the repairs that were done and completed, um, pictures with that helps us go a long way to try to get the, the cancellation reversed. Sometimes the cancellations are non, uh, they're not worthy. Um, sometimes we can get those based on the issues or based on what they say the, the cancellation reason is. 
Sometimes we can get those looked at. Sometimes they can be resolved without repairs. But what we're seeing is 90% of the time is that repairs have to be made or the policy will be non-renewed. And that's just not with one company. Uh, that's with multiple companies. I'm talking like most all companies are, are going to this route because if updates aren't made, repairs aren't made to the property, then that continues the damage if there is like a water loss, rain loss, wind storm, hail storm, something of that nature. The ensuing damage from those losses could be greater because of whatever was not resolved um, from the from the initial inspection. Whenever you're looking at an exterior inspection, what are we looking at? Uh, or what are the inspectors looking at? They're looking at uh, they're looking at sidings. They're looking at roofing. They're looking at uh, gutters and downspouts, um, downspouts that are going away from the house, uh, extracting the water away from the foundation. Um, because obviously with water going, not being extracted away from the house and just dripping down in the basement, that can cut, um, cu cause basement structure issues over time. Also uh, leakage or uh, seepage of water through walls, which happening anymore with the poured walls, not so much, but it can cause some structural issues over time. And the goal is to prevent losses over the period of time, maybe not tomorrow, but five to 10 years from now. Um, also with the gutters, they're making sure that the gutters aren't hanging, that they're the leaves and they're uh, free of debris. So water can extract from the, from the gutters and not spill out or um, get stuck not necessarily stuck, but uh, where it's just like dripping out of the gutter, which obviously will uh, over time could result in, in foundation problems um, from that water if the gutters aren't, are not resolved. Um, we all know about the, the roofing issues or whatnot, what happens if a roof is bad um, or it's leaking, what kind of damage can ensue from that. So the things that they are looking at are basic necessities to make sure that the properties um, stay uh, stay good um, and stay claims free because obviously that's the goal. It's not to deny claims or anything like that, but it's to make sure that properties are kept to a certain standard um, to where they um, try to prevent claims um, over the course of time. A lot of people talk about uh, whenever they talk about home inspections and, and claims and inspecting houses and whatnot, they, they look at it as pride of ownership, obviously with housing, house repairs, housework, uh, cost a lot of money today. We know things are tough. We know times are tough. Um, and we do, uh, you know, we do feel for people in that situation. Um, but from the insurance end of it, they're looking at pride of ownership for your house. Do you uh, care about your house? Do you care about the outside structure? Do you care, care about the way that it appears? Um, and that not only goes for um, just you yourself in general about your house, but at the same time, um, whenever you're caring about a ho your house, uh, making sure that it's uh, the gutters are okay, roofing's fine, the shingles inside or the sidings are on. Um, if they've blown off, that we get it repaired. But um, it also helps uh, over time. Being prideful of your your property um, means that you're also trying to take care of your property and keep it in the best shape that you can. Like I said, we understand that times are tough right now. Um, money is tight for everyone right now with the rising cost of not only, as you can tell with your insurance premiums, but at the gas station, the grocery store, pretty much anything anymore is costing a lot more than what it used to. On these, um, on the inspections as well, whenever carriers are sending out notifications, they're saying that these notifications are sent out within uh, previous 30 days of the actual inspection. Like we said before, um, we know that that's supposedly happening from the carrier standpoint, but from the customer standpoint, not, uh, we're not sure if they're actually receiving these documentations too. So just a reminder on that, it's a 30 day notice previous um, uh, from, what they're, from what they are saying.